Hello everybody, it's Kenneth here with another video from the archives. Today we're going to be looking at some images we have of one of the University of Dundee's most iconic buildings, the Tower Building. Now if you know the University at all, you undoubtedly know the Tower Building is probably the building that's most associated with the University. And today we're going to look a little bit about how it came into being, its construction and some of the images we have of it particularly those of it being built. So the tower building stands on the site of the original University College Dundee buildings. These were four Georgian houses which were purchased with the bequest of Mary Ann Baxter and John Boy Baxter that founded University College in 1881. And when the university opened in 1883, this was its nerve centre, a description that today is often applied to the tower building. It was fairly quickly realised that these four houses, even with conversion, did not make an ideal headquarters for an aspiring college. And over the years, a number of suggestions were made to either modify and enlarge these buildings or replace them with something different altogether. But for various reasons, usually due to money, nothing came of this until the 1950s. In 1954, University College Dundee had become Queen's College Dundee, still a part of the University of St Andrews. But there were recognition that the Queen's College needed to be expanded. New buildings were going up and it was decided finally that something would replace the original four houses as the university's main building. And so as we can see in this picture, Two of them were demolished to make way for a new structure. And this structure was to be the tower building. Designed by Robert Matthew, it was something very different from what Dundee had at the time. At this time, Dundee's tallest building was the old steeple. Uh, and it would remain so because the tower is actually just short of it in terms of height. But it meant it would be the largest building constructed in Dundee since the Reformation, which is a pretty impressive thing. It was going to be a very modern building, and indeed Thomas Malcolm Knox, the principal of the University of St Andrews, and a great champion of the building, who really liked the design, said his one big concern was because it was modern, people might unfairly judge it, particularly before it was finished. So the site was cleared and work started in 1959, on the picture on the left, we can see the area of what will become the tower building with the foundations getting in place. Uh, and indeed, somewhere in that picture is where the archives will eventually be. Also, interestingly enough, on that picture, you can see Park Place. And on the other side of Park Place from the tower is the old school building there where the Bonner Hall now is. Um, that was originally built as Harris Academy when Harris moved along the Perth Road in the 1930s, it then became St John's School. So that's a lost building featuring in the video as a little bonus. So appropriately enough, it was Thomas Malcolm Knox as principal of St Andrews who laid the foundation stone. And here we can see him putting it in. That was on the 28th of April, 1959. And you can still see that stone on the tower building today. Work took a wee while. It was a big project. Uh, and indeed, it wouldn't be officially opened until October 1961. Uh, this is a very popular photograph. Here we can see it going up and we can see two of the original buildings, which at this point were left with their new compatriot beside them. This probably taken sometime around 1960 when they had the topping off ceremony um, as the building had reached its peak. And here we can see it almost ready to open. Now, Again, obviously, this is a little bit different of the view from today because we can still see the two of the original houses beside it because the extension, which I'll speak about in a moment or two, hadn't yet been built. But you can see it was a fairly striking design uh, and it is indeed recognised as an important part of late 50s, early 1960s Scottish architecture. And that's one of the reasons it's now a listed building. So the opening ceremony took place in 1961 in October with the unveiling of this plaque in what's now the Tower Foy, 
by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, who, of course, had a very strong association with the college. I mean, one of the reasons it was called Queen's College was after her. And in 1967, of course, she became the first Chancellor of the University of Dundee. And indeed, although it's always been known as the Tower Building, or very occasionally in its early life, the Arts and Social Sciences Tower, there were occasionally suggestions that it should get another name, perhaps Queen's Tower after the Queen Mother, uh, but that never happened. And it's so well known as the Tower Building, I doubt we could change it now and people would refer to a different name anyway. Obviously, this was a really big event for the university, and you can see students packed looking along with various visiting dignitaries. So, as we mentioned, it wasn't quite completed at this point because there was a decision to build an extension that was built on the west side of the building and would house various arts and social sciences departments, as well as providing what was for many years called the Tower Extension Lecture Theatre, now the Darcy Wentworth Thompson Lecture Theatre, uh, which was for many years the main lecture theatre in the university. And so this is taken not long after the Tower Extension was completed in 1968. And this is the building that has very much become the iconic building of the University of Dundee. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. As ever, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you again soon. Good night.